What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we are taking a look at a very specific upgrade to my home theater setup. And a big shout out to Verizon for sponsoring this video. So Verizon launched a couple of soundbars recently and they sent them out to me to check out. We have the Stream TV Soundbar and Stream TV Soundbar Pro. And I must say, they absolutely blow my previous setup out of the water. These soundbars pack a one-stop shop for sound quality and 4K streaming. We have Android TV here with the Stream TV UI on top and all the Android TV apps you've grown to expect offered in the Play Store, such as Disney+, Plus, Netflix, Hulu, and more. And even access to a video on demand catalog for Verizon customers, and get this, even Pluto integration, which offers live channels as well. First up, we have the Stream TV Soundbar Pro. Now this is at the core of my living room setup. The Stream TV Soundbar Pro features nine drivers with Dolby Atmos, tuned by Bang & Olufsen, equaling four full range drivers, three tweeters, and two woofers. We have three HDMI inputs and one output, a sleek Bang & Olufsen design, which packs a metal housing, looks absolutely minimal, and definitely catches your eye. And you can mount it on a wall or flat on a tabletop. And there are even capacitive controls on the front of it to play and pause or change the volume and more. I was definitely a fan of the integrated cable management as well, which makes it simple to route all of your cables through the back of the device, keeping the setup nice and clean. Next, we have the Stream TV soundbar, and this model includes five drivers with Dolby Atmos, featuring three full range drivers and two woofers, also tuned by Bang & Olufsen. Now, this has a modern and sleek Verizon design, has two HDMI inputs and one output for the Stream TV experience. The Stream TV interface between the two soundbars will be similar, which are built on Android 11, but the sound difference between the Stream TV Soundbar Pro and what I had before is light years better, like seriously. I've been using both of these for a couple of weeks now, and it's impressive what a difference great audio can make in your experience with your own setup. For example, I previously had a setup that featured its own wireless subwoofer, yet the Stream TV Soundbar Pro's two integrated woofers fill up my space much more. It's pretty impressive. Another cool feature here is with the remote. Sure, you can access the Google assistant with the voice integration here. You can navigate the interface, launch apps, etc. But the coolest part here is that if you lose the remote, there's a button on either soundbar that will help you locate it. And then the remote will beep at a fair volume until you've located it. As I mentioned, both of these offerings are kind of an all-in-one product. You can safely ditch your old set-top box and not miss a beat when replacing it with either of them. They also have built-in Chromecast capabilities and can easily be added to a part of your audio setup, or you can just throw up your favorite TV show or movie right from your mobile device, which is super convenient. I seriously cannot stress enough how big of a difference these two soundbars have made in my home entertainment experience. Like, honestly, I had pretty what I thought were decent ones before now, but upgrading to these two, it's a game changer. Like literally, my movies are much louder and clearer. As I said, the Stream TV Soundbar Pro has two woofers in it, but they literally shake the floors of my place, which is pretty awesome. All in all, the Stream TV Soundbar and Pro model are pretty efficient entertainment beasts for basically any situation. It keeps your entertainment zone pretty tame, which I definitely appreciate, and I'm a big fan of either of these, but it's definitely something you have to experience for yourself. So if you'd like to pick up either of these models or find out more information, I will leave links in the description below. But I'm curious to know what you think about the Stream TV Soundbar or Stream TV Soundbar Pro down in the comments section below. And be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And again, thank you so much for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. Once again, this is Dom and I will catch you in the next video.